What is up everybody? Today I wanted to make a video talking about how I did this transition between the rock and the lights on the fence. Alright, so let's get to it. So, to start off, when I was shooting this clip originally, I had to make sure that this rock filled the frame from the very bottom to the top because if there's a little bit left over it's going to make the mask really really awkward so if you're making anything like this just make sure the the shot that you're going the shot in the foreground is actually covering the whole frame okay so i have my two clips here these two clips are the ones that i want to blend together so this is the original clip of the rocks and the swipe and so I want to swipe from here to this clip and I already have it layered underneath and you want to make sure you layer underneath because that's the one it's going to if it was the other way around it just wouldn't work so you can see in the original shot that behind this rock is just an old parking lot which is not really interesting you know I didn't want that so I wanted to blend this together on the edge of the rock with this shot and that's what I'm going to do now. So the first thing you need to do is go from the scale to 25%, go from fit to 25%, and this is going to help you see the whole frame and everything outside the frame because the mask is going to have to expand further out. And so now you've got to highlight the clip that you're trying to blend, which is on top, and you'll find in the effects control tab on opacity there will be a little uh, pen tool this is the pen tool that I used to make this mask and so I, I find the frame that first is introduced right here that's right when it starts that's right when I want to start my mask so I'm gonna go just before that which is right here so that's when it's already being revealed I'm gonna go one frame before that highlight my clip and create the mask so for your first frame you literally just create a mask outside of the frame because you know and you have to invert it as well so you have to create the mask outside of the frame because this shot there's nothing there to blend yet so you're just starting it off and it's going to create a keyframe immediately so you can use your arrow keys or you can use this button which is track selected uh, mask forward one frame so you do that and now you can begin just moving this mask in that area and everything in this triangle is going to get blended to this to this frame so let's go back highlight your mask if it's not showing up click on mask and it'll appear so you go one frame at a time and see now there's more revealed so I want to hide all of that and then you go forward one frame hide all that and you're gonna begin to you know the mask is gonna begin to get too small so you just have to continue expanding it throughout this whole time and you have to make sure that the mask goes outside the frame because if it goes inside then the parking lot in the background begins to appear again so just make sure that everything is covered and so you just continue going all the way through and it gets kind of funky sometimes because right here it kind of there's like a corner so what you can do is create another point and then just keep drawing these points along the actual uh, the edge of the corner Okay, so I've completed my mask, and this is kind of a rough cut. This is not exactly how I did the other one. I made it more neat, but because I'm making a tutorial, you guys understand exactly what's going on. So towards the end, you have to make sure that the mask covers the entire frame. It doesn't matter that the edges are kind of crooked, because it's not going to show up either way. The only thing that's going to show up is what's in the frame. and so for your mask uh, I make sure to put a mask feather 
and 10% is way too small so I always bump it up to about 50% around 50% it just gives it a softer edge and once the mask is complete this is what it should look like and you can see so in this original clip I my shadow kind of appeared in this corner which gave it a weird effect I was not really looking for that and I didn't realize that until I got into post but for me it just turned out a little weird but I'm hoping you guys don't make that mistake as well and that's it that's basically it you just have to get the clip that you want to start with make sure it's on top and the clip you want to end with will be on the bottom so I go I hope you guys really enjoy this tutorial and please if you guys have any questions just leave a comment don't forget to subscribe to this channel because I make, I'm going to make more content just like this. And leave a like guys, thank you so much, have a wonderful day.